Hi, I'm Joanne for Twit.tv, and today I'll be covering the Rocket Comb Pure Camo Charge Gaming Mouse and Rocket Sense Gaming Mouse Pad. Let's take a look at the Rocket Sense Camo Charge Gaming Mouse Pad first. Here's what it looks like. Very cool. Got the Rocket logo right there and uh, some uh, FPS. What are those like? Headshot counters over there. Very cool. Love the color as well. And it does measure 400 millimeters by 280 millimeters, which is like 15.7 inches by 11 inches. And it's actually very thin at two millimeters. For reduced friction, there's a microcrystalline coating bonded with the cloth and can kind of feel it. And once I flip it over to the base, it's just all textured rubberized finish. And here's a look at what comes with the mouse. So you get this installation guide. You also get braided cable. So it's very durable with, I believe, USB 2 connector. And here is a look at the mouse itself. As you can see, Camo Charge is just the military green color. Um, and look, it's got a Camo's Charge over here. And it's honestly, it's very comfortable. So when I hold it in my hand, I would say this is definitely more of a claw grip. And you have this kind of soft finish on the sides. I believe it's all plastic, but it feels really good in the hand and it's light, but not too light. So it's great for FPS gamers. Now as to the button setup, you do get two here and two here, as well as a scroll wheel and of course your left and right buttons. And if you get the software, the Cone Military software, then you'll be able to program those buttons. Now on the bottom, you do get some gliding feet as well as this sensor. This is a uh, optical sensor, as optical sensors are better for precision gaming. And this is a 5000 DPI Pro Optic R4 optical sensor. You get seven programmable buttons on normal mode because there's also an easy ship feature that comes with this cone pier. So you get one, two, three, four, and five buttons and the scroll up, scroll down, those are additional buttons. So that would be seven buttons right here that you can program in normal mode, but left and right, you cannot reprogram. Now, if you set, let's say this button to easy shift, then once you hold it down, you can access a whole number of other commands. And of course, this is uh, once it's easy shift, it's not programmable. And then you would get one button, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, programmable button. So in Easy Shift, you can program your left and right clicks. And there you have it. Now here's a look at the LED on the mouse. Nice logo right there. And you can change it to whatever color you want. Keep it breathing like this or static or off if that is what you prefer. Here's where you go to download the Cone Pure military software for the mouse. Make sure you download this specific one because I've tried Cone Pure and it just would not load any settings onto my mouse. So there you have it and click the download link right here. Now here's a look at the Cone Pure software. We're in the main controller, we can change up all of these options here like sensitivity and uh, your DPI switcher. Um, so you have five DPI settings that you can change. You can either move the bars here or you could go ahead and click the arrows, or you can unlink it and change the independent uh, XY DPI, uh, XY axis. Now let's link it once more, and here's a cool thing. If I change the DPI... 1,600 DPI. Do you see how it talks to you? How cool is that? Okay, and make sure that once you change any settings, you have to hit apply. Alrighty, let's go on to button assignment. This is where you will be able to change your uh, buttons to macros or a timer or sensitivity or easy aim, anything that you want. And you can only change it if you have this arrow drag down menu. That's why you cannot change left or right clicks. However, with easy shift, while you hold this button down, you get additional set of functions. So it looks like you can change the left and right buttons here, but not this uh, normally default backward button. Alrighty, um, and let's go ahead and take a look at what they have. So in the macro selection, you have a ton of preset macros that you can just click and use for different games, like World of Warcraft. But if you want your own, you're gonna have to go into Macro Manager. Make sure you have a set, so all of these are sets. And you wanna go to Macro Set, and we're going to call this, uh, we're just gonna call it, wow. Wow R2 or something like that. 
So we're going to go click OK and then make sure you create a new one and we're going to call it WOW and hit enter. And I want to record delays as well as uh, repeat the macro. So in here, I'm actually just going to, uh, let's do it three times, start record and then I'm going to hit WOW and then WOW again. Stop record and then hit OK. And let's go to this button here and assign the macro while wow, our two, wow, wonderful. And then hit apply. And we are currently in profile four, by the way. Now we're going to into notepad and then we're going to see that button come to life, shall we? So wow, and then it's gonna wait and then it's going to do uh, repeating and boom, that is exactly how it works. So hope you enjoyed that. Now, after that, let's see what we have going on. Now, as to profile, if you want to create a profile, let's say you want to change this, right? Or you could just edit and call it uh, robot or something and then hit OK and then boom, you've changed it. Now, to create a new one, simply hit this and then create a profile. Let's call it uh, uh, just blue or something and then hit OK and boom, you've changed the profile. Awesome. You can also load as well. Now make sure you hit apply. Well, I mean, if you want to save this particular profile to your mouse. Now for advanced controls, that's where you get any angle snapping. You also get sound feedback. You can turn it off if you want, uh, pointer speed, reset, and then color options. If you don't like the color that it comes with, go ahead and pick the color that you want and then hit apply. You can also have your LED in the mouse breathe or have full light. Now rad is just a fun way of keeping track of your mouse skills. So once you hit a certain milestone, it would be like, hey, guess what? You're awesome. <laughs> well, not exactly. And last but not least is update support. Let's take a look at the pros and cons. Let's start off with the Rocket Sense gaming mouse pad. I do love that it is large, a little bit longer than what I'm used to. Um, however, I do love that it's thin and it's easy, great, easy to pack away. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and boom, roll it away. You do that with your clothes, right? Um, and also it does track very well. It's smooth. I mean, I don't really have a con, maybe that, uh, you know, cloth. Um, pads usually are tracked better by optical sensors. You'll get better performance with hard plastic surfaces for laser sensors. So, but otherwise, um, I, I really like this. And now for the mouse. I really like that you do get some LED here. Not every gaming mouse has that. And you can change the color of the LED, so it's very customizable. Also, I uh, love that you can get seven buttons you can program on normal. And with the easy shift, you get an additional eight. So that's a lot of uh, buttons button assignments for you. However, I do think that this is more for FPS gaming than MMO because these buttons are really either to change my profile or change my DPI um, and do like the construction, love the braided cable, also the uh, soft touch finish just feels good in the hand and it's perfect, perfect for claw grip, especially for my small hands. I can't find too many mice that are great for that. And now for the cons. I don't like that when you do profile change or DPI change, um, you can do it on the fly, but there's no LED to tell you, by the way, you're on this one. Although what's good is you can get your mouse to talk to you like, this is 1600 DPI. Oh, however, you know, that might be kind of annoying if you're in game or whatnot. Um, and, you know, there's really not too much uh, bad to say about this, but this is definitely more for FPS than for MMO. I have to have my thumb panel here with at least six buttons, especially for World of Warcraft. But um, it's, it's pretty versatile. It's more than just FPS, but I would say more for shooters. So for the mouse pad, is it buy, try, or don't buy. I would say if you have an optical mouse and you play lots of shooters, buy. However, if you have a laser mouse, uh, I would advise against it. Hard plastics would be much better for that. As to the mouse, I would probably say buy. I just, I love how it feels in the hand and it's just, it's perfectly lightweight. It moves across the mat so well and I mean, it's it's good quality, you know, you can feel it normally. And there's so many features in the software. You can fine tune your mouse to like perfection. And all of those, you know, preset profile, macro, I mean, not profile, game profile macros that you get, that is insane. I mean, you can make your own, but why not just pick the ones they made for you? 
Well, that covers it. This has been Joanne for twit.tv, and hopefully you enjoyed this look at the Rocket Sense mouse pad as well as the Rocket Cone Pure game.